Welcome back everyone. Well, it's not so unusual anymore to live to be 100 years old. In fact, there are half a million people worldwide who are at least 100. By 2050, that number is expected to grow to 3.7 million. Scientists actually are predicting that children born today will on average live to be more than 120 years old. Wow, what does the future of aging have in store for all of us? Let's take a look. When 101-year-old Olive Ollie Fowler was born, Warren G. Harding was U.S. president. Milk was 33 cents. She says it was a much simpler time. We walked and rode bikes and uh, nobody had cars because nobody had any money. Ollie met Sid, her husband, for 70 years when they were teens on the ice in Canada. Today, Ollie is part of a growing number of centenarians. So why now? What is the future of aging? Epidemiologist Andrea LaCroix is making it her mission to find out. Your chronological age is a certain number, whereas our biological age is a measure of how fast we're aging. Professor LaCroix believes epigenetics is key. Exposures in the environment and everyday stressors can impact your genes, causing some people to live longer than others. I think there probably are ways to slow down um, epigenetic age acceleration. Another area of research identifying cells that impact metabolism and inflammation. Scientists are exploring whether interventions such as caloric restriction, fasting, exercise, and even certain drugs turn back time on those cells and extend life. We're on our way to finding um, a biomarker of biological aging that can be measured in the blood and that can help us understand um, where we are with respect to our aging process um, over and above our chronological age. Researchers also want to know how microbiomes living in our bodies impact longevity. There may be one day supplements or things that we can take that help us to age slower. Until then, Ali says she will stick with what she knows works, surrounding herself with family and lots of love. You have to kiss each other good night every night. <laughs> All right, there you go, some advice. Ali says longevity runs in her family as well. Her dad lived to be 98 and her mom was 91. She lost her husband, Sid, 10 years ago. He died at 91 at home in his bed. Ali says that she drove herself around town until five years ago, giving up her car keys at 96. Her last trip she took was just a few months ago. She actually flew to Canada to visit everyone because she missed her grandchildren. What a life.